A Vermont nonprofit is collecting bikes and sewing machines, sending them to developing countries. Local 22's Dana Casulo joins us live in the newsroom with more. Hi, Dana. Hi, Courtney. The nonprofit is called Pedals for Progress Vermont. Tomorrow, they will collect these items at National Life in Montpelier from 3.30 to 7 p.m. and Saturday at the Burton store in Burlington South End from 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. A nonprofit called Pedals for Progress Vermont is preparing to send these bikes to people in developing countries. The main goal is to make them as compressible as possible so you can ship as many as you can. Paul Demers has worked for the nonprofit for more than 20 years. They have shipped 4,200 bikes in total. Vermont bikes have gone to Tanzania, Nicaragua, sewing machines have gone to Fiji, Albania, Kosovo. It's a process to get them ready. We flip the bike over. Turn the handlebars so they take up as least space as possible and compress the seat, tighten it all down, it's ready to go. And once those bikes reach the developing countries, Demer says they help people in many ways. Take an example if you're a healthcare worker. You know, if you're going from village to village and you can get on this really good mountain bike, suddenly your capabilities to reach out to people are not doubled, but they're quadrupled. They also plan to send sewing machines, which will help provide economic opportunities for the people there. The nonprofit has sent 650 sewing machines to third world countries. If you can imagine a sewing machine for a struggling family can help provide an income, otherwise they're struggling to feed themselves. Bob Thompson is a Peace Corps volunteer. I've seen the conditions that they have to live in, and you know, transportation is something we take for granted here. And, not that's not something that's always available there. Demers says it's fulfilling to know these household items we may take for granted will make a difference elsewhere. Sometimes just doing a little bit over years really adds up to a lot. Everyone who donates a bike or sewing machine is asked to give $15 to help pay for a portion of the shipping. Reporting live in the newsroom, Dana Casula, Local 22 News.